Honestly, if you're good at what you do, people will recognize that. I really believe it. If you're a great band with great songs, people will notice it. That's it. That's all it is. Wednesday. Let's see what happened. Monday night we had a co-writing session with Faith and Josh and Brett. That went pretty well. And then uh, yesterday I was getting some time lapses down at the bluff in Long Beach. I parked and there was a green light and I didn't want to miss it so I sprinted across and I noticed that my feet started slipping. So I looked back and I saw a sign that said sidewalk closed wet cement. I like look down at my boots. Super worth it, because I got a great time lapse. But walking back to my car, I saw the guys that poured the cement just looking at my footprints. Then I went and helped Billy move to his new apartment. But it was more just me having fun. But today, going to the rock gym with my buddy Kaiser. And then tonight, I'm going to LA to do this web radio interview thing. I don't really know what it is. All right, Kaiser's probably waiting for me. So going to the rock gym, here we go. That's enough with the bike today. So the shower and protein shake is done. Now I'm on my way to LA for this live Q&A thing. But I am wearing the same thing as I was before the gym. I'm just running out of clothes. Is that weird? I'm going with pizza socks tonight, obviously. Is that even a question? Welcome to Live with DJ Rawstar. Tonight is Wednesday, November 11, 2015. On tonight's show... I think I'm on 30, 39 now. Okay. So I started in June, and I'm supposed to be done um, by January 1st. Are any of them just completely out there? Like, you did like a hip-hop track or something that would surprise oh, there's, the fans? There's a lot of stuff. If I put too much, too many walls... Yeah. Um, on the creative process, nothing will happen. The inspiration starts from somewhere, obviously, but if I, if I start saying, no, that's not the right style, no, that's not the right thing to put, then nothing will get done. So there's definitely some interesting stuff on there. That's cool. Um, since we are 10 minutes in, we did have a whole bunch of questions on your Instagram. True. Uh, if you are watching, this is a live show. Hi, We're, this is in real time. He's actually here at my apartment. Um, we want to hear from you. Here's a good question. Any advice for someone who wants to enter the music industry? The audio for this whole interview was the worst. So um, it starts peaking and I just don't want to put you through that. Uh, I'm just going to answer the question right now. I'm really not an authority figure on the music industry, but um, if I could give you one piece of advice, uh, it would be that you will be your biggest 
supporter. No one's going to work as hard for your band or project as you will. So you can never be waiting on someone to fulfill your dreams for you. You have to take that. You have to learn. Um, you're going to have to get there on your own. And it seems like more and more people recently are looking for a way to get popular overnight. I would argue that that's impossible if not very, very few people succeed at getting popular overnight. Your best fan base is going to be uh, grown organically, uh, which just means that you need to release good content. If you can write good music and you can work really hard, you, you'll make it in the music industry. Um, okay, that's it. Uh, back to the vlog. Be in touch. I'll see you soon. Of course. Good luck. Thanks, man. The Q&A went really well. There was a lot of... How do I get out of here? I'm just gonna keep walking. I wanna get one more time lapse while I'm here in LA. So I'm gonna leave you with this shot. <laughs> 